education breaks barriers of poverty. My mother and my dad raised five of us going to school and they struggled because they didn't have any money to pay for us. My dad would buy one pencil and divide it five times so each of us could get a piece. Because I had a fifth of a pencil, I ended up at Columbia University. That's what opened my eyes. I knew what were my obstacles as a child to get education. We built two primary schools and a secondary and vocational school. You don't have money, you can't pay for it, so we made it free. So our kids get uniform, pencils, and pens, and their pencils have erasers. I never had an eraser. A kid is sick, we built a clinic so we can address that. Girls have no sanitary products, we have them and provide them for free. There is no place to read a book or find a book. We built libraries. If kids are dehydrated, they cannot concentrate. So we built a clean water system for the entire community. The Grandmothers Program was started in 2006. We asked grandmothers to house students. They were scared of economic consequences. When they need uniform, what am I going to do? When they get sick, what am I going to do? And all our answers is, need a uniform? We'll give it to you. Medication, we'll give it to you. Clean water, we'll give it to you. These children have gone through traumatic experiences. They have seen their dads and moms die. We want somebody in the house who they can go to when they are scared. So today we have 7,314 grandmothers taking care of 43,000 orphan children. Nyaka has taken all those barriers and broken them down so our children can succeed.